It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Will Edutech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the solutions to uh, questions 47 and 48 on our May 2012 CSEC math exam pass paper. And that's a multiple choice paper. Now it states item 47 refers to the graph below. And here we have our graph. Um, it's, it's a straight line AB, okay, passing through our X axis at the point 3 and our Y axis at the point negative 2. Now here they're asking the straight line or stating rather the straight line a b cut the y axis at and they have given us some options a b c and d so really what they're asking us to write down the coordinate or to choose the coordinate at which the the line the straight line a b cut the y axis so basically we know that the vertical line is the y axis so i'm going to position my point myself at the point a because that's where the, the line passes through the y axis okay so at this point here Okay, that point, I'm shading in white now, that point A, I need to find a coordinate. I, well, we would have learned from earlier lessons that coordinate is in the form X comma Y. Okay, so really, my Y value, it's obvious from there, if I'm on the Y axis at this point, that point is negative 2. So obviously, my Y value would be negative 2. So I would have an open bracket, comma, and my Y value is negative 2. So I'm going up on my X now to find the X value. So from here, I would be going up to my x-axis to see what value would be x and if you notice I'm at the origin 0 0 so my x value is 0 so obviously we're looking for the points my friend 0 negative 2 and obviously that's a point D 0 negative 2 so that's the correct answer that's where the line AB the straight line AB that's a coordinate rather of the point where the straight line AB cut the y-axis. Now quickly, let's look at question 48. Let's just pull this up a bit. Now in question 48, it states, which of the following sets is represented by the relation? And here they, are, they have given us the relation. F of X is a mapping onto some function, X squared plus three. Okay, and they have given us, they have given us some options to choose which one would best uh, match this function. Now, um, le let me just walk you through the general idea of what is happening. Okay, my friends. Well, f of x, f of x can also be written as, and let, let's just look at another notation. f of x can also be written as, as this. Okay, so I could say f of x is equal to x squared, okay, plus 3. Okay, so this function here that they gave us can also be, this function here, in the question that they gave us can also be written as what as that function that I have here. They are basically the same thing. Now, what this is really saying, my friends, if you notice, they have given us a set of coordinates. Now, what they are saying, we, we must choose the coordinate that whenever you plug in the x value, and remember, the first value is the x values, okay? The first values is the x. So, all of these values is the first values. Those values represents the x values. Whenever I substitute these values in this function, I must, I should always get the corresponding y values. Okay. So that's basically what they're saying. So for any, for any of these options that that is true, whenever I substitute the x value, I should get out the corresponding y value. Then that would be the correct function. That's all they're saying. So let's check the first one, a. So in a now, we're trying to find f of zero, okay? Because our x value is zero. So this would be equal to, uh, we know that this would, I'm substituting my x for zero in this case. So this is zero squared plus three. We know that zero times zero is really zero. So zero plus three would give me a three. And if you notice my y value here, my friends, is three, okay? So obviously that works. Let's check the second one, okay? Now we're checking for f, and if you notice the second x value here in my second coordinate would be one. So I'm checking for f of positive one, and that would be equal to Again, the function is x squared plus 3. So really what I'm trying to find is 1 squared. Okay, when I substitute the x value, that's 1 plus 3. And 1 squared is really 1 plus 3, and that would give us a 4. Okay, and if you notice, my value here for y is 4. Okay, so obviously we're good so far. Let's check the other two to see if we would get the same Thing, okay, so in the next one, we're using the same function f of x, f of x is equal to x squared plus 3. 
okay and this is equal to and if you notice my friends and um, the x value is 2 in this case so i'm just simply substituting f of 2 f of 2 and f of 2 is really 2 squared plus 3 and we know that two twos will give us a four plus three and that will give us a seven okay and if you notice my y value there is seven okay so obviously we are good so far let's check the final one uh the final one f of x is equal to our function which is x squared plus three okay so by substitution we're really finding f of three okay and f of 3 would be equal to 3 threes, 3 square plus 12, okay? Sorry, plus uh, 3, my bad, plus 3. So this is equal to 3 threes, that would give us a 9 plus 3, and that is equal to 12, okay? And if you notice, our y value here is 12. So obviously, option A would be the correct option, okay, my friends? If you should try this process, or if you should go through the rest for yourselves, you would realize that uh, this wouldn't be consistent for the others, okay? Or this wouldn't be true for the others, okay? Uh, feel free to ask a question if you're still not sure, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.